Alright ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and help it grow. So let's deal with our sign up page here and create a proper sign up. So we have this uh, container that's out here, which does leave some padding here, but we want one in the center that deals with the sign up. So what we will do is go to our sign up view. Let me close all files for now. And let me go back to signup.view and right about here. I want to create another div in here. So let's do div and class there. And uh, hmm, what to do here? Yes, so what I want to do is add a um, uh, let's see here, container fluid, let's add row, so that whatever we add here is in one line. Actually, this is a bad idea. Let's use container fluid. And then what I want to do is put columns, how many columns it should fill. Okay, so let me do this. Let's go down here. So I'm putting these inside here. Okay, great. So here I'm just going to tell it how many columns to fill. Now the way Bootstrap works is like this. It, whatever screen size you give it, it's going to uh, separate it into 12 columns, okay? So it has 12 columns. So if you want to put something on the left and then another thing on the right to share the space, you have to divide that between 12. So maybe this one on one side can have six columns and the other one can take six. If one takes 10, the other one should take two, etc., etc. as long as the, uh, the total adds up to 12. So I want to see at this view, which is the largest view of the window, uh, how many columns my uh, container should fill. So at this point, if I save this, I want us to see the container. So I'll add a border. I'll just say border. Let's say class in Bootstrap that already adds that for you. So as you can see, we have a border there, but I want to limit its width. So I'm just going to use, now I can always just type width here and reduce it that way, but I want it responsive. So this is why I'm using the column like this and then say column uh, large, which is LG. And then, so this is, I'm telling it on a large screen, what, how many columns it should take. So let's make it six, like so. Okay, let's try that. So now it's taking six columns. So it will continue to take six columns as I resize. So if I go to more tools and responsive design mode, this is what I get. So you see here uh, at this view, we have that it's squeezing in. And at some point, because we have told our um, uh, what's this? Our container to limit to 350, right? If I width 350, everything is good here. But if we keep going lower, uh, this does not reduce further. However, the head itself, the navigation does reduce and I don't like that. So what I'll do is real quick, go back to the header here and I will do likewise this container. Okay, so this container is 350 but the navigation has its own, is outside this thing. So we have to do our own there. So what I'll do is say, uh, hmm, I need to go to partials and nav. And right in here, I will add a style and say main width 350 pixels. Okay, so that will ensure that the navigation does not shrink further as well. Okay, so that has worked. But as I zoom out, uh, at this point, you see it's still too big. So, but when we get to the large section, you see it snaps to this uh, six column uh, ratio. But here, boom, at medium, it doesn't. So I want to add that as well. So I'm going to duplicate this. And this time, instead of large, I'll use medium, MD, and tell it to maintain six columns as well. So let's see if that works well. Okay, so here, 
it maintains six columns and then six again here so it snaps there but then this six columns is too little so let's put eight on the medium because each column becomes smaller as you shrink the screen size so eight looks much better so it will snap there we go there we go and there we go so here uh yes this is the maximum i guess it's still too big so let's put four here four columns at this point let me refresh okay that's much better and let's reduce uh-huh so it's shrinking too much and then finally it snaps to that one so here it shrunk way too much so let's put five maybe that would be much better so it doesn't shrink too much okay and then uh, boom there we go this one also maybe eight is too much let's put seven like that okay uh, maybe six even just one more extra okay and then let's squeeze up mm -hmm. and then finally it will snap to the whole thing So let's see at 350 everything looks fine fine boom boom okay so that makes it responsive all right so now that we are done with that let me close the responsive view now i want uh, some margin at the top of this so all i need to do is just put m for margin but t for top because if i just use the m it will marginalize everywhere so mt and I'm going to say maybe uh, four because there's one, two, three. I think it ends up to five. I'm not sure. Let's put five. I'm not sure how far this goes. So we can always experiment. Let's see if six will do anything. No, it doesn't. So it ends at five. Okay, great then let's add okay so it has a little bit of padding in here which is great now what i can do is change the h4 here uh, put this inside a center tag like this so it can centralize this i'll move this to the end uh, actually i need this on the sign up word itself let's move that and let me remove the h4 it's useless and the h1 is quite large so let's do h3 maybe okay much better and uh, the icon is way too close let's leave a space there and okay that's much better so sign up nice let's put some inward padding as well so I'll do p2 like so so everything will be padded in here by two okay great now we can add our uh, our inputs now we can go to forms here on bootstrap website and let's go to form control uh, input group maybe that's what i'm looking for so we can do things this way sign up uh, can look like this or we might want to use the where oh yeah, are the others these ones like this i think these are better represented in input group let's see here yeah i kind of like these ones like this first one here so i'm going to copy the very first one here and utilize it so to sign up a user what we need are a few things the username so let's put some content here i'll put a break tag let's do that okay so this one will say uh, username and uh, let's duplicate this it still says username on all of them uh, that's good the placeholder as well has username let's refresh and there we go so username cool um, what else do we want so we want the username, we want the password, we want the email. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things we want. So let me duplicate this to give us that. 
a few times. So username, email, password, we'll need to repeat the password as well. So username, I'm going to press Control D to select all instances of this. And I will say uh, email. And uh, password here. And here I will say retype password. Okay, great. We are looking good. I refresh and this is what I get. So it's really up to you how you want this to look like. You may prefer uh, this other one from Control, which has this, something like this. Some people do prefer this. So let's try and mix it up. I'm going to copy this. Uh, maybe the username can be like this. Let's change the, um, what can we change here? Maybe the email. Let me change the one that has email and paste this new one, just so it looks a bit different. So email address, it comes with email address as well. So refresh and there we go. Okay, so email address, username, email address, password, retype password. And of course, at the bottom here, we need a break tag and we need to add a button. And uh, this one is create. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe sign up sounds better and of course here let's put some classes uh, obviously it's button and button uh, primary and uh, that's about it so let's refresh and there we go sign up maybe we can float it to the other side or the center Uh, password retype. Let me put this one on auto activate here. So right at the end here, I'll say auto focus. Good. That way, once we open the page immediately, we go to that thing. Right. Uh, looking great. Email address, password, username, email address. So maybe let me do the same. I kind of find it weird here. So let me duplicate this. Uh, let me change this email address to username. And uh, email here as well, type should be text. And uh, what else? Placeholder is okay. Uh, not really. Let me put username here. So I can remove the one on top. I think it would be better if these two look the same. Yeah, like this. So username, username, email address, email address, and password, password. All right, this is uh, great. Now, what we shouldn't forget is that, uh, oh, let me put four here on the P. What we shouldn't forget is this should all be inside a form. So let's put a form. And uh, cut to the end. And then let's shift everything over. And make sure that the method is post. Okay, great. So let's refresh. And this is what we get. Okay, so sign up here. Uh, this is not the map marker is not what we need. Let's put user instead as the icon. And there we go. Okay, so maybe we can say user sign up. Please an end missing there. Okay, so user sign up, ba -ba 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 -ba. very nice. 
So maybe we will need the app name as well. So let's copy that from the header. I'm going to copy this, copy, come back here, sign up. And uh, this is on H3, like so. But I want to put something down here, maybe just a div and paste the app name. Okay, very good. All right, so user sign up, my point of sale, and this is the detail that we need. Now, since normal signups will happen um, while they'll be, these will be created by the admin, right? We will put a cancel button that takes the admin back to the admin section where they add users from. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate this button and have one of them float to the other side. So it's float end and then change this one to change the other one to danger and I'll call this one cancel like this great refresh and there we go so cancel and sign up boom very good